Hey guys, this is Alicia from Mobility Mastery, and I'm going to show you how to use a barbell to release the fascia in your scalenes and upper traps. This is a really good one, actually. Um, it's one of the best ones that can mimic what I do with clients. Um, you need access to a barbell, so hopefully you have a gym that you can go to or an at-home gym. Um, this one right here is a little bit too short for me, but up here it's too tall. So I'm going to use the short one because what I want to do is get under the barbell. So I'm going to have a pretty wide stance here, um, but what I want to be able to do is push all this tissue up into the bar um, so we can pin it. So what I'm looking for is all this junk right there. And my neck is super tight because I look down all day. So any of you who look down and do this, this is going to be a good one for you. Um, you want to basically like pin this tissue. Um, be aware of the fact that you do have nerves there, so if you get anything electrical feeling, get off of that right away. That's not normal. Um, it is going to suck and it's going to, if you hit a right spot, it's going to maybe go all the way up into your brain or your eyeball. You're going to feel it there and that's normal. Um, it's just connective tissue connected into the head there. So I'm going to put my body weight directly up into that barbell. And I'm going to reach my right arm down. Um, putting a lot of tension in that arm so we get a really good stretch. If it's just kind of hanging here lats, it's not going to do a heck of a lot. And I'm using my left hand to hold the bar in place there. And then I'm going to move my head. Um, so I got tilting to the left is one. It's really good. I'm kind of feeling that already up in my brain. Um, and I like to bring it back to center. Maybe tilt again. Um, I can also rotate this arm. You want to keep that tension in the arm, like reaching away from you while you do that, but go ahead and play around with some arm movement, forwards, backwards. If you find a good spot, you can try rotating, um, or you can just hold it there and just move your head. You can also like turn left and go down. Um, that tilting one is, is really good. Uh, I know right there, I'm on my traps, and if I want to get the scalings, I kind of have to get like under those traps a little bit. It's a little bit tricky, but it's going to be more in your neck than in that shoulder area. And that's a super tight one on me, so I spend a couple times every week um, working this one out. And on that one, you want to tilt and then move your head around like that. It's such an intense stretch right there. Go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think.